the, the running costs have dramatically increased since that time and even the exchange rate has also really gone up. Umaru, the exchange rate is a non-starter. The core cost here for telecommunication, you can check that, is the running of the towers. I mean, I mean, I'm talking of the diesel that they use. Service in those towers across the country is one of the key cost drivers. Most of these towers are on, on solar and most of, most of now the electricity has improved. What we agreed at the country lodge last year was minima. And minima was something like around 20%. There has been a huge outcry from the public. Just outside the headquarters of the telecoms regulatory body, NATCOM, I met a small group of people carrying placards calling for a reversal. Some of them read, why so wicked? Data is life. Bring back our midnight bundle. Some of the protesters spoke to me. My name is Abu Bakar Jalo. We all know how things are... are currently we are students and we use the internet to do our work and also our assignments and with the increments on this i think it's very unjust and unfair to the part of the young people in this country my name is delvis stanley coca it has impacted us a lot especially for content creators we run a page called the african game it also has a website where we tell positive african stories it is very exploitative and disturbing to us and to everybody in Sierra Leone. That is very unreasonable and unfair. My name is Abdul Karim Suri. Students are the ones who suffer the most, and also the less privileged, especially the ones in the remote areas. Since the increments in, in data, most of them have not be, been online. That's the purpose I'm here today. It was hard to hear from the mobile phone companies, but Abdul Ben Fode, the Director for Corporate and Industry Affairs at Natcom, did talk to me. After a protracted engagement with the service providers over time, we came to a realization that it was worth the salt for us to make some minimal increases. The last time we reviewed the tariff on data and voice was in 2017. And over time, cost variables have changed. And when they approached us with their proposals, we did what we could do with critical stakeholders. And then we came to a realization that we should do a minimal increase. And then we agreed that we should have something which people will use and it remains to be affordable. You emphasize on minimal increase and affordable. Clearly, these increases are not minimal. I mean, for example, data is more than 100% increase. By estimation and by the estimation from people we engaged and those MF consultations we made across the, the nation, those increases are relatively minimal. And um, recall that the cost of production for the people in this sector, for telecommunication sector, is, is virtually in dollars. What's the rationale for the floor? price system. If somebody wants to reduce their cost, why are you saying that they must not reduce their, their charges or tariff below a certain level? Well, because we want to prevent um, predatory pricing and we want to prevent cross-subsidization. No, so well, if, if the businessman thinks that they can still break even, even if they reduce the price, why do you force them to increase the price? Yeah, we've not forced them to increase the price. Well, well, by intr well, introducing the introducing a floor pricing is basically forcing them to not reduce the price. Well, it's international best practice. Uh, floor prices are, are not only akin to Sri Leone. There are other jurisdictions, we are re regulatory authorities, where EU themselves set floor prices and cap prices. What do you say to someone who says that introducing a floor price is basically a way of you maximizing your revenue you get from these telcos as a way of providing resources for the state at the expense of the ordinary people? Not at all, not at all. We, we, we are not a money-making um, um, regulatory entity. And that's Mr. Abdul Ben Fode, who is the Director for Corporate Affairs at NATCOM, which is the um, telecoms uh, regulator in Sierra Leone. And he was ending that report from Umaru Fofana, who is reporting from Freetown. We have several comments on uh, our top story, and that is the return of Tindulisu, l l l Tundulisu uh, in uh, Tanzania. Nurain Jib says hopefully he will be safe, and Jude. Bia Mukama said on Twitter, it's a good development. It's coming up to 17.30 Greenwich Mean Time on Focus on Africa. The top story is the Tanzanian opposition leader Tundulisu has addressed the...